video. If you are new here, my name is Kim. This fall, I will be a third year teacher in West Michigan. And right now I am in my second year classroom. I have been working on tearing this down because I am moving to a new classroom this fall, but I filmed a bunch of clips of my classroom and this whole tour before I started packing up. So I'm super excited to share it with you guys. I think this will forever be my favorite classroom. It is huge. I have my own storage room and I feel so very blessed that I was in this classroom, even though it was only for a year. If you'd like to see a tour, of my first year classroom. I will have that linked below. I did that last year. For me, I don't do a ton of decorating at my house. My husband is pretty picky with our decorating. So my classroom is really my home away from home and I love decorating it and I love just having fun with it. So for me, I'm willing to spend some money on my classroom and then also I've had a ton of donations from friends and family and I've had a ton of people purchase things from my Amazon wish list as well. So I'm just so grateful to have had this space even though it was only for a year. So let's go ahead and jump into my classroom tour okay so when you very first come in over here in this space I have my most important things poster so I made these before my first year of teaching and they're just four kind of key guidelines that I want my kids to remember and then right below that this is how we make our lunch choice every day so the kids will take their number magnet and then move it to either school for school lunch or home for home lunch and then at the end of the day I have a classroom job to move these back over here our hall passes are over this way, so we have a bathroom one, and then we also have what we call rest areas. So a rest area is just a desk right by the door of each classroom where students can go if they need to take a break or if they like miss a day of school and we need them to make up like a quiz or something like that, then they can go to another teacher's classroom and go to the rest stop if they have that pass. And we have rest stop partners, but then also we can send the kids to somebody else if we choose to. This was my wow work wall over here. I always meant to put up a title and I never actually ended up putting one up but that's okay so I would just hang up like different work that students were proud of and that I was proud of them for doing up there I'm not gonna go through every single cupboard because we would be here basically all day but when they did some construction last year they did give us some new cabinets and cupboards and all that fun stuff so I will show you this tall one at least right here and then I can like quickly go through the other ones but I'm not gonna say like exactly what's in each one I'll just kind of like pan through and they're not like all super organized which is fine, that happens. I like to think that I'm a pretty organized person, but I don't know, I definitely struggle with like paper flow and stuff during the school year. So I have like some science and math manipulatives, but yeah, some math manipulatives, science manipulatives, all that fun stuff. This one I actually just emptied out. This one has some curriculum stuff in there like binders and stuff. This is one of my favorite parts about my classroom. I'm so glad I made this this year. This is a substitute station and usually I have a lot more in here. I have like our emergency folder and usually like a class roster and all that stuff. I have my substitute binder and then I keep these bags in here. I call these barf bags. So if a kid feels sick, they take a barf bag and it works wonders. So if a kid has a sore throat or whatever, they grab a barf bag and it's like a wet washcloth. Like it seriously makes them feel so much better. We have our sink, paper towels, over here, this is our affirmation station. So just promotes positive self-talk and this is actually a product on my Teachers Pay Teachers if you're interested. This is a little box that is locked usually, but it's unlocked right now. And then I keep the key to this on my lanyard and there's little like strips of paper usually and kids can write me little notes of things they want me to know and they don't have to sign their name on it, but they can if they choose to. I have sharp and dull pencils. This is my pencil sharpener over here and then I have a little note on it and I actually have a classroom job to sharpen pencils or if they don't get sharpened then I just do them at the end of the day. I have my cool down crate over here. I'm not going to go through all of these but I keep like anchor charts in there and just some other random stuff. This one is all curriculum as well. 
This is just cleaning supplies under here. And then these are all of our indoor recess games. So I'll open this up too. I have all sorts of fun stuff in here and I get rid of the boxes and just keep the instructions laminated in each of those little bins. I really, really love those. And then we have like Legos, dress up and cup stacking. Those are little rocks that kids can try to stack. And I have like flashcards in there too. And a lot of the kids like playing school during indoor recess. So here's just kind of an overview of this area. I also keep my fans up there usually, but I took a couple of them down. I have one over there and then I have one on the other side of the classroom. And right here, I have our little star ticket drawing option. So I do star tickets. They are over here. <laughs> I do star ticket drawing. So they're just like little raffle tickets that I give the kids for being awesome and making great choices. And then we do star ticket drawings every Friday. And if their ticket is drawn, they can tape it on whichever one they choose. And then when they decide to use it, I just rip it off and throw it away once they're done with it. I usually put different posters up on here that are relevant to what we're learning about or just things that I think would be helpful for the kids to have. So usually I get these off of Teachers Pay Teachers. It looks like these are from Scaffolded Math and Science on Teachers Pay Teachers. So yes, that is that space. And then I do have my own teacher desk. When I moved into my first year classroom, there wasn't a teacher desk already in there. So I did buy one from Artvan. Actually, my mom bought it for me, which was super nice. So that desk is from Artvan and I totally love it. And then I just have some odds and ends on there. This is actually a dehumidifier because it gets super hot in here and sticky. And that does make a huge difference. I really, really like it. And yeah, just some fun stuff on there. This is my reading focus wall. We use Reading Street as our reading curriculum. So I put up the amazing words and the vocab words every week because we reference those throughout the week quite a bit. Over in this space, I have my schedule. So we go through this each morning, but the nice thing about my school is the schedule actually stays the exact same every single day except for our special. So the last day that we met, we had art, but we also have like technology and Spanish and music and gym. And so I switch those out depending on what we have that day. I keep a no right zone clipped up there. So that's basically just where I keep answer keys and then kids highlight any incorrect answers and they have to work with their team to figure out what they did incorrectly. Then up here, this is probably one of my favorite parts of my classroom, probably other than my classroom library, which we'll see in just a minute. But I have this big quote above my board that says this classroom is better because you are in it. And this was just an idea I had before my first year of teaching and I thought it would be really fun and special. And since I put this up here, I've actually seen quite a few teachers on like Instagram Instagram and YouTube and stuff use this quote in their classroom too which like makes me so 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 happy because I just think like as a child how special would that be to read that and then I have some eucalyptus garland on there I believe I got that at Target and maybe Michaels as well I'm not entirely sure about that but I know most of it at least is from Target and then just some odds and ends on there some like erasers and stuff like that I have a little timer up there I have this cute little magnet that one of my students made me this year how cute is that with like little perler beads. I have some pointers on there. These are my team points. So this is another behavior incentive that I use. So I give team points throughout the day for teams that are doing an awesome job. Over here, I have my goal board. So this is where we keep our learning targets right on there. So for reading, writing, math, and social studies. I'm not always the best about changing them out, but I try to make sure I change them out as often as I can. And then I just keep some little like anchor charts usually over here, magnets, all that fun stuff. Also, I don't think I mentioned, but this wall is actually covered with that better than paper stuff that you can get at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I believe. And yeah, I really like it. I'm gonna have to take it down unfortunately because I'm moving, which makes me so sad, but I really did like having it up. Over here, I have my rocking chair, which I love with a little Target pillow and a little black cushion. I have some flexible seats seating options in here. So on the right, I have my scoop rockers. On the left, I have lap trays, which you can see a couple of them are broken. They did not hold up super well, but that's okay. And then I just have some wobble stools. Those big bins are from Big Lots and they fit the scoop rockers really well, which I like a lot. This is the space up here. Our social studies journals were in there, but I actually already got rid of those. And then, Coming into this space up here, 
This is what we call our coffee table and this whole space we call the living room. So we have the living room space with the coffee table and I usually have kids working over here or reading. There are some little like wood stump cushions under there that the kids can pull out and use. And then this is where I keep my picture books. I have a lot of my picture books at home right now though because I was organizing those this summer. This is our math talk little speech bubble. So I switched this out. The math vocab cards that I use are from Jillian Starr. She is awesome. She has so many different ones, so I use that. And then those little fake plants are from Target, and I believe those lamps were from Ikea, I wanna say. I'm pretty sure they're from Amazon, though. I think those were bought off my Amazon wish list my first year of teaching. I keep clipboards down there. We pretty much always work around the room. This is just like a wheelie desk thing that was donated to my classroom. I have our curriculum over here. So we have Reading Street, and then we have Social Studies Live. And then I'm not gonna go into like every single thing, but whisper phones are like one of my favorite things. I feel like a lot of people think that you can only use those with lower elementary, but I really like them for fourth grade as well. Just some odds and ends in that space. Let me back up here. So this is probably my favorite spot to be in my classroom and where I typically spend most of my time when I'm in my classroom because I love pulling small groups. So this is my back teacher table. These little stools are not super sturdy, but they are from Amazon. And then this is just a kidney table. I have a little Ray Dunn pencil cup. Sorry, we're getting really close to the window. <laughs> so if you can hear cars go by, I apologize. This is my little workspace back here. So I keep all sorts of fun things. Usually I keep our progress monitoring stuff back here, but I actually turn those into our course support teacher. My teacher toolbox though is like such a lifesaver. I absolutely love it. I use this all the time. And then the kids know too, if I ask them to go grab me like a hole punch or a binder clip or something, they know they can come back here and grab that for me. So that's super nice. And then we do a five detail retail in fourth grade. And so those are just some prompts that they can use. This whiteboard was from Home Goods and it was donated to me and then I painted the outside of it black in my classroom setup series last year. And then I just have some like anchor charts and little tools over there. Up here I have some little curtains that I made. This was a really, really fun project that I did last year. I honestly do not remember who it was, but I saw this on somebody's blog and I was obsessed with it. It's actually a shower curtain off of Amazon. And then my mom helped me make it into like this beautiful piece of art. I absolutely love it. I get so many compliments on this. And like, this is where we take all of our pictures as a class and stuff. And it's just like such a beautiful space. So I totally love that. Then I have a little rug from Walmart down here and a bunch of just cozy pillows. I have a beanbag chair from Amazon. Amazon. This little picnic table is what we call this. This is a picnic table from Michael's last year. I got it for super cheap and then I bought a couple of those wobble stools off of Amazon. I have a picture book display shelf. I get a lot of questions about this. I did paint this. This one is from Amazon. It was gifted to me and then I painted it black because all of my other shelves are black. We have reading buddies in there. Again, I really do not feel like fourth graders are too old or too cool for reading buddies. I think that they're a really great tool and incentive and I just love them. This rug is from Amazon and it is awesome. I totally love this. I had this in my first year classroom and I just think it's like so beautiful. Here is my library. It's not perfect. It's pretty disorganized actually right now because usually the students are the ones who clean it up and you know, they haven't been here in a long time. So I'm also missing a ton of books because the kids had books checked out obviously before the school year ended because we were expecting to go back and we didn't. So yeah, I just try to create like this nice cozy place for the kids and we're constantly switching out like what books we decide to put in these bins. So these ones are organized by genre. I do have these labels on my Teachers Pay Teachers. A couple of the bins don't have labels because we were planning on relabeling them and then that didn't happen because the school year ended. <laughs> but lots of fun books there. And then these books are all organized by genre. And the bookshelves, um, these two were in my first year classroom, just already left in there. And then I have three of them. So these two and then one in my back room that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace. So these ones are all organized by genre. And I have this sign here for our 40 book challenge that I made my first year of teaching, but it actually fell down. So I just left it down. But yes, that is how I organize my books. So these are all organized by genre and the kids go through and organize these. And these are just ones that don't fit into a series or we don't have enough in the series to make a whole bin. Book return is like overflowing, but I'm not going to put them back because I'm moving classrooms anyways. I just keep books that I'm displaying on the top of there. 
That's a big bag of books that a student returned during pickup. I have a little mat right here and then another bookshelf. This one I got off of Facebook Marketplace and then again, I just painted it black. I have this sign that is also a freebie on my Teachers Pay Teachers. And then I'm really blessed because in this room, I actually have my own study room or storage room, whatever you wanna call it. So it's super messy right now, so I apologize. I was working on moving, so I have some boxes and just a big, huge mess. So I'll just kind of quickly show you this space, but it is super super nice for storage. I absolutely love it. This is such a fun space and then I'm able to have my own fridge and microwave, which I love. It's kind of a big, huge mess, but that's okay. And then I have a table back here and chairs because usually there are like reading groups and course support. Sometimes we'll pull back here and we'll do testing and all that fun stuff. So not that testing is really fun stuff, but that's okay. So that is this space and I, I really, really love having this space. So I'm kind of jumping around, but I realized I didn't talk about this desk. This is from Michaels and it's actually supposed to be a rolly cart. And I, I honestly would not recommend buying it because it broke within the first probably month of school this past year, which was a really big, huge bummer. One of the wheels like broke off and I didn't even have anything heavy on it. I just have like what I had right now. So that's a bummer, but yeah. So anywho, this is Oinks right here. He was a gift from one of my students. And then inside I have the student names on these little balls and so that's there I have my step ladder right now so you can ignore that and then this little cart is for like our reading time so like when I'm doing centers the kids can grab stuff off of there and then I have my beautiful stage so let me back up so you guys can actually see it okay so it's a little hard to see because the chairs are stacked right now but I have each of the teams have their own little poof and then their team number right on the poof. So I have four teams. And then I have this beautiful rug, which was gifted to me off of my Amazon wish list last year, which was so, so nice. I absolutely love it. I think it's gorgeous. And then I have my classroom stage, which is awesome. It is absolutely massive and I love it. The kids love it too. They love getting on the stage. They love doing presentations up here and just sharing. And it's just such a special space. So I absolutely love this. One of my coworkers actually made this for me and basically charged me like at cost like she hardly charged me anything for how big this is so I love this and it does actually open up and then there's storage on the inside so that is awesome as I'm walking over here I don't think I shared this space yet so I just have more cabinets over here and then student mailboxes so those are the mailboxes right there. I have my turn-in bins and scrap paper, extra copies, all that fun stuff. I really don't have anything super exciting up there and they're kind of hard for me to get to. Um, so I have to like pull up my stepladder if I really want anything out of there. So short teacher problems, but basically I just have extra like notebooks and stuff up there. And then in this spot right here, I have all sorts of different things organized. Well, somewhat organized, mostly math manipul manipulatives down there. And then on this side, it's a little hard because I can't like open it up all the way. I have to move that desk if I want to. But this is where I keep overflow of different school supplies. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, if you wanna take a second to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. I'm gonna be starting to post vlogs from setting up my new classroom in the next week. So I would love for you guys to stay tuned for that and be with me on that journey as well as I incorporate a lot of the things in this room and some new things as well into that different space. So make sure to have that post notification bell turned on so that way you're notified every time I post a new video, including those new setup vlogs. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.